So I'll just throw them all over. Anything in particular you want me to look at, or you feel like you obviously feel like you're playing well? Just like yeah, straight to the ball. Make sure I get my head to the ball. Main thing. What What are you <laughs> getting stuck on? Like, not getting stuck there, and then playing from there. What are you you're getting even there? Okay. Obviously, you were under par last year from your ability. Yeah. There's no hiding that. What do you think the reasons for that were? I just got in a rut and then just didn't get myself out of it. I think just okay. call myself a talent or rather than matter. Yeah, yeah. I, I think you're probably playing well now yeah. because there's no baggage. Yeah, nothing, yeah. There's no average, there's no previous week's dismissal, there's nothing. And so you're just batting on skill and ability right now. Yeah. Whereas as you probably started poorly last year, I can't remember what happened at the start, yeah. but maybe a few low scores and then you start searching for runs. Yeah. You start trying to do hard, you start changing things. Looking, and then by the end of the season, you'd like to you say you're thinking of the tail ender. I'm not. I'm not. Not a batter. You're thinking right now. Without with five months away from the game, yeah. you've got a fresh start. You're playing with freedom, and you've got no baggage. So I think that has to be your template for the whole year. It's easier said than done because it, once you, if you hit a full toss up in the air on the weekend, you're going to think about it all week. But I've been listening to an excellent book called How Champions Think and. The guy talks about, he's a psychologist, sports psychologist, worked with the world's best athletes, mostly golfers. And he talks about how the best players, they learn from their mistakes, but they never spend more than 15 or 20 minutes thinking about it, then they move on. And I reckon that's got to be a big part of all of us this year, where we learn in the moment, but 15 minutes later, we should be sitting with our mates having a laugh, not dwelling on it. And I reckon at times last year, it got you down. And then it took you took it into Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then by the following Saturday you were feeling shit about yourself. Yeah. Is that fair? Yeah, definitely. So I'd say, like right now, I haven't seen you back, but from what you were telling me, you're playing really well. Jumbi said you've been playing really well. Yeah. Cause you're free. Yeah. There's no baggage. So all year you've got to try and I've got to try and keep helping you yeah. to play with freedom. Play with freedom. If you get out doing it, so what? We're all gonna get out. Yeah. We're all gonna get out playing shit shots, we're all gonna get out playing making wrong decisions, we're all gonna get out bad times. Yeah. Just gotta keep backing yourself. Yeah? Yep. So try and bottle whatever it is right now so you can open it and take it in six or eight weeks when maybe you haven't got the scores and you say, no, oh, doesn't matter, I'm playing, I'm see the ball and hit it, relaxed. Great start. Take your time, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you set up and then I'll come in. Shot. Played, chum. Five or six balls in, and I can see how well you're playing. Because you're just clear. Like, you've, you're a natural, you've got natural ability, and you've obviously played a lot in the past to get to this. It's not freakish, it's just, you've got good hand eye, you just see it and you move. So you've just got to trust yourself. What probably you did a lot last year is you started looking for technical things. Right, and definitely like second guessing as well. Like yeah. Going for a shot and then no, do, don't exactly. Play. Not trusting yourself, not trusting your instinct. Yeah. And then probably looking for things that, like your technique is good enough right now. Yeah. I think it's all just trusting yourself. Prepare, practice, and then trust yourself. Yeah. Game day, trust yourself. Don't, you can always tinker and find little things to improve, but don't try and reinvent the wheel and, and back your instinct. Yeah? yeah? Good leave, excellent. See, that's instinct. You went to go, you're a attacking player, and then you went, no. Trust your instinct. Well left, well left. Yes, boy. Mate, your instinct is good. Your decision making's excellent. Like, like you're, you're coming from a place of trying to score every ball. You're a po positive player, which is excellent. So you've gone there, not there, leave. Not there, leave, half volley or a driving ball hit. Yeah. You've just got to trust yourself. Yeah. Brilliant. And then in a game, fully commit. And if you get out doing it, you can live with that. What's that? Yeah, but you've got to trust yourself and be willing. Yeah. If you're not willing to fail doing it, yeah. that's when you don't fully commit. Yeah. You've got to be willing to fail playing a full-blooded drive yeah. so that it allows you to play that full-blooded drive and you hit it for four. Yeah. But if you've got that fear of, oh shit, if I play a drive, then you're going to half-heartedly, and that's when you'll get out. So you've got to commit, and you've got to be willing to fail so you can succeed. Go left again. Runs. The other thing, 
The other thing I want to encourage you to do this year is most people, like I reckon I've thrown you 25 balls yeah. and you've made a good decision and executed well, probably 23. Yeah. What most people do is they'll do that, they'll make a mistake and you'll focus and dwell on that. Yeah. And then you'll walk out of thinking, oh, three out of my 30, 60 weren't very good and you, you, I want you to overemphasize the good ones yeah. and almost underemphasize the bad ones. Walk out and tell yourself you didn't hit any bad. Yeah. Build yourself up, yeah? yeah? All good, just slow to pick it up. Slide. There we go, good. It's all right, a little bit tentative. First one you've been, first one you haven't fully committed. First one you haven't fully committed, but I, I don't think you should then beat yourself up for it. And again, it's not a technical thing, it's just like backing your first instinct. Yeah, it's just a bit far out, like. Yeah. Play, boy. Shot. Just went slightly early there. See, that's a shot you. That's not a half volley, but you're capable of playing those sort of shots on a good wicket yeah. or even on a bad wicket when you're in. Yeah. And when I first played against you a few years ago, we used to be like, and I was captain and stuff, we used to fear your stroke play. Yeah. Like we, could, we knew you how you could take the game away, you're a good stroke, you're a good shot maker. Yeah. So you've got to sort of remember that and stop trying to be something you're not, stop trying to be perfect. Just back yourself like, but you've got to give yourself a chance. Yeah. So if it's a really good wicket, you could do that second or third ball possibly if you're in good form. Yeah, but, but you're better off giving yourself 10 or 15, 20 balls, yeah. find a few in the middle, and then play that sort of shot on the up. But that's a beautiful shot. Good. Shot, boy! Love that, love that. Class, boy. I watched. Shot. Playing beautifully, mate. Just honestly proves before I threw a ball to you exactly what I thought. Yeah. You're just playing with freedom. Yeah. And it's so much easier to do it at the start than at, in the middle or at the end when you've got baggage. But yeah. we've got to find a way and I'll try and help you yeah, to mentally just let go. Let go, play with no baggage. Yeah. And we'll talk to Wells and we'll talk to Jumby about how you go about your cricket. So you've got, to, you've got to back yourself. Yeah. And if you get out doing it, I think if you do it over the course of 18 games, we're going to get a far better output, yeah. but maybe have two or three innings where you let us down at the wrong time. But over the course of the season, you're going to get the most out of it. Yeah. And we're going to get the most out of you playing that way, yeah. rather than trying to be something you're not. Yeah, definitely. Yeah? yeah. Sharp boy. Class. Good chum. Lazy. Maybe, maybe, because I'm talking to Swan, I've broken your distraction, your concentration a bit. Switch back on every ball. Well left. Well played, good. Well played, boy. Good? Mate, that was class. That was absolute class. Feeling good? Yeah. Come back up here a bit. Um, way better. Oh, I just see, yeah, it feels way better than previously. Yeah. Um, I think it's just super important that we, as in myself as the batting coach, Jumby as the coach, and Wellesley as the captain, yeah. communicate with you and manage you and our expectation around you. Because I think you need to play a bit like Gilchrist used to, and regardless of the scoreboard, yeah. coming in down the order, yeah. you play your way, and you don't, and we're willing to cop a few shit outs, yeah. 
maybe driving on the up or doing something because I really think that's going to give you the most freedom to go out and play your way. Yeah, definitely. Yeah? Oh, yes, yeah, where I've had success in the past as well. Exactly, I agree. Yeah. So just got to keep backing and trusting yourself and your plan and your game plan and, and that's what you, that is what your game plan is and you've got to trust it. Yeah. Train it and then trust it. Yeah, definitely. Cheers, thank you for that. My pleasure.